Oaks in the house. Just seeing if uh, the camera is uh, causing a delay. <laughs> My workout video for you guys. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good. We've got some blues going on. And tonight's uh, sipping bourbon, I'm going with uh, Bird Dog. Uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. Uh, small uh, batch, seven years old. Um, the bourbons I usually deal with are in the $30 ballpark, uh, 35 under. Um, and for me, I do like it being Kentucky bourbon. Um, I know it's not a rule, but for some reason when I read rules about bourbon, you know, age, type of barrel, and how many years, I thought it needed to be in Kentucky, but that's not a rule. It has to be United States, but... For me, I kind of put my little rule, asterisk, um, Kentucky bourbon. And uh, there's plenty out there. There are some uh, rough ones. And uh, Bird Dog, uh, for a sipper, I, I'll give it a little. It is rough uh, for Bird Dog bourbon. Um, it's a sipper. Uh, compared to 1792, this has a little bite to it. So it's, it's got more of a bourbon to it. The 1792 kind of is, it's a bourbon, but it's just too, it's dangerous. It's, <laughs> so I'm um, doing the video to get some movies in. I got to get back to some movie talks uh, and uh, enjoying. Uh, but the, uh, again, YouTube, if you do a, a blues uh, for music, uh, they'll come up with hours of uh Streaming for smooth blues, whiskey blues. And, uh, so chilling out with that. May have to try to figure out how to put that on low a little bit. But uh, yeah, um, I thank everybody. Derek uh, gave a comment about the 1792. So uh, appreciate that, sir. And uh, the movies uh, going with tonight. Uh, I guess they're going to be uh, obscure. Um, I'm just thinking maybe I'll go oldest to newest. Um, yeah, I think I will. Uh, first one, they call him Bulldozer. This is an Italian comedy. Uh, a big actor named Bud Spencer. Um, he would play sidekick to Terrence Hill in Spaghetti Westerns. And so he kind of has his own uh, movie on this one, action comedy. Basically, uh, this misfit town of guys uh, messes with the U.S. Army, and they end up having a football game. And uh, Bud Spencer's character ends up coaching the team. And uh, it's got shenanigans. It's, uh, I want to say, that kind of uh, midnight movie. Um, cheesy. Um, it's got its moments for humor, slapstick humor a little bit. Um, so that one's first one. Then I got uh, Martial Arts. Uh, it's a movie that I didn't think, I guess I never covered. Uh, the, and this is from 1982. The Postman Fights Back. I think this is close to one of my first DVDs for Martial Arts uh, that I purchased. Um, basically, a group of people are put together and they're supposed to uh, take some four canisters to uh, another area and people want those canisters. Um, a good action movie uh, for martial arts if uh, you're into those kind of movies. It's not the cheesier 70s. Uh, I think this would be considered one of the more first... Uh, upgraded movies from Kung Fu Theater. I'll go that way from 1982. Um, if it's not, it's, it, like I say, it's got to be one of the first uh, higher budget uh, movies. And then down the road, I'll be having some other movies um, and some subtitles. Uh, but trying to get caught up with my list. And then the next one is The Hunt, 2020. A uh, bunch of uh, conspiracy theorists end up being hunted uh they get created and put uh it's, it's 
got its humor, some action. Um, Hillary Swank's in this movie. It's 2020, again, called The Hunt. Um, and it, it has its moments. I'll, I'll give it that. Uh, the fight at the end. Oh, yeah, I guess I shouldn't say. There's a good chick fighting. Let's go with that. Two women fighting, and it's decent. It's 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 good, um, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I guess I shouldn't have really... I guess, yeah, you know what? It's at the, towards the end of the movie, so if you're good want to see a good fight scene. Um, I'm thinking you probably should be able to um, maybe do the hunt fight scene, Hillary Swank. Um, it does the job. It, it does. And then uh, my last one, uh, Dangerous 2021, a uh, reformed convict, uh, goes to an island resort where his brother's killed and he has to try to figure out. Um, this one's a little dark a little bit. Um, and it's got a story. It works. Um, and then, you know what? I'm covering one. I'm throwing it on here because I just saw it. And if I don't get it out off my list, a uh, cheesy movie, uh, Maximum Override. Uh, there was a movie, same time frame. I didn't get the year on it because I just, I didn't look at this. I just saw it on my list called Trucks. So I don't know if anybody ever saw Maximum o Amelia Estevez. Um vehicles take over same thing with trucks um it's cheesier <laughs> so it's like here's trucks here's max and it's like yeah it it, it just is like wow um it maybe if they went to put the budgets together they could have maybe made a, qual a higher quality movie so those are my movies i uh, appreciate everybody um get anybody new this was supposed to be for more obscure movies uh, that I view. I do a lot of streaming on Tubi, um, Voodoo Channel are my top. Roku itself has a channel uh, that has some decent uh, movies. Uh, so they come and go on these. Uh, and like I say, I'm a couple weeks behind and that's why I throw, throw trucks in just to keep it going on my list. And, uh, yeah, appreciate comments. And if anybody ever watches any of my uh, previous videos and or watches a movie that I, please make comments. Appreciate it. And uh, enjoy this. And uh, I'm going to get back to my bird dog and uh, enjoy, everyone. Have a, you know what? <sighs> Have a good one. And let's leave off with... Kind of has a jazz blues to it. Have a good one.